Hey there, it's Kurt of Trades here, and today we're going to see if it's better to keep your traction control on or turn it off when you're trying to climb up an icy hill. So we're going to look at the three different traction control systems. The first one we're going to do is with no settings at all change. So traction control is on, ABS is on, vehicle dynamics control is on, just as a normal car would be when you drive it down the road. The next one we're going to do is we're going to hit the traction control button that is in the car. All that does is allow wheel spin at low speeds to get unstuck from snow. It still leaves vehicle dynamics control on, so stability control, and it still leaves ABS sensors on and the wheel speed sensors active to determine which wheel needs to be uh, braked because it's spinning too much. And the last one is um, VDC delete or VDC off, and I've set up a switch on these cars so that you can drift in them um, because if you just hit the normal traction control button, the wheels will catch when it detects you sliding sideways. And so I've turned that off, and when you turn that off, it turns off ABS, stability control, and traction control. So we'll see which one does the best on a steep, slippery hill. And uh, I don't think my wife's gonna be very happy because I sprayed it down, and it is like a sheet of ice. And uh, actually, as I was doing the test longer and longer, it actually started to melt a little because it's pretty warm outside and it's starting to get sunny. And it started to turn even slushier and it kind of broke down instead of being hard packed ice, kind of broke down and turned into more of a slushy. So really slippery stuff here that we're working with. Okay, I'm gonna calculate the slope of my driveway to kind of show you how it is. This isn't super accurate, but it's pretty close just to kind of give you a rough idea of how steep my driveway is here. So basically I'm gonna get it level and convert it to the same same uh, units, do rise over run. For every five inches in height, we go about 24 inches in length. So I'll, I'll get my calculator out and do some little math here and then I'll show you the results. So when I did rise over run, we got about an 18.75% grade. And when you turn that into an angle, it's about 10 degrees. So after completing this test, I'm going to say that the best one was a tie between um, the normal settings of the car without turning any devices off and just the no one where you turn off just traction control at low speeds. They both really seem to perform very similarly. It didn't feel like when I was hitting the gas hard with the normal settings on, it didn't feel like it was cutting engine power to the wheels at all. Um, so that I thought was a really good thing and those two were really I couldn't really tell the difference between the two which was which was good So they performed pretty well um, the one thing I did notice with uh, vehicle dynamics control ABS and uh, Traction control off when I pulled the fuse What that did was these have open diffs on the front and the back and if one wheel starts to spin It keeps spinning more and the other wheel won't spin at all that has traction and what the ABS system does in the wheel speed sensors is when they detect slip on a wheel, they'll actually put the brakes on that side and that way the other side can start to spin that has grip. 
And so when you turn off the VDC and the ABS system and the wheel speed sensors, basically one side that has less traction, the, the, both the wheels just start to spin and the other side just sits there and doesn't move at all. And so I think that's really um, one of the biggest things that made a difference in this test. And I think one thing that's really funny is when people say, oh yeah, turn off ABS, just pump the brakes. And you don't realize how good these computers are. They can detect slip super, super accurately. And if you're trying to modulate a pedal to stop it from braking, it's so hard to tell, especially when traction is really low and you don't get a lot of pedal feel. It's super hard to tell when your wheels are locked up versus when they're spinning just a little bit. So I think it's kind of funny when people say, oh yeah, turn off the ABS so you don't need that stuff. Um, the tech has gotten really good and um, you need to trust the tech that your car comes with it because it's very good. So thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please sub because that's super helpful to me. And enjoy. Have a good one.